What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have a real treat. IGN have uploaded about 4 videos and many things we haven't seen so far covering Destiny 2. That being a Titan Sentinel gameplay, Voidwalker, Warlock gameplay and much much more. Today I will cover many different things in videos to come but right now I want to speak about the main things I see within these videos. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much much appreciated on my behalf. Okay so let's start and first up we're going to talk about the Warlock's new and improved Void Walker subclass. Unfortunately we don't see any nodes or setups being used here in this gameplay but we do see it in action which is kind of good enough to go on. The footage we see is playing on control and a new PvP map Endless Veil vale, which I do actually like the look of. Now get into the video guys and straight up, straight up Blink is back. Yes, you heard that right. Blink is back. Within this gameplay, we see this warlock blinking all over the place. In my opinion, it actually looks to be improved. Improved on what we already have in Destiny 1 right here, right now. Will it be OP? I can guarantee a lot of people will say it will be. The mechanics of it don't seem to have changed much, but the actual sound of it is amazing. Take a listen. Also, the cooldown is not really apparent. I mean, is there even one? We see this Guardian blinking twice in a matter of a second, so maybe there is no cooldown at all. But notice the radar and hood still disappears off screen when you do blink, which is good. We also see the Nova Bomb in action. Now we have seen this ages back, but it wasn't much to go on. But here we see it being used properly, and it's changed a lot. Now we know within this subclass build, well all subclasses across the board within Destiny 2, you can choose from either one of two sets of four nodes. If that does affect the Nova Bomb in any way, we don't know as like I said, none of the actual build being used here was shown. Now I speculated about this ages ago in one of my first videos covering Destiny 2 and that was the fact that the Nova Bomb we did see ages back did indeed split into smaller parts and impact and seem to track enemies. We also see that here within this footage, the Nova Bomb does travel a lot lot slower but the fact it splits into large action bolt kind of things is pretty cool. Will they one hit an enemy if they actually track them down? I do not know. We also see what I believe is to be a new type of scatter grenade. We see it hits the floor and separates into minute little parts. Looks decent to be honest. Now we're going to move on but all the videos I use here as reference from IGN can be found linked within the video description so do check them out if you want to. Okay, so the Titan's new Sentinel. Damn or damn, it looks super fun. Now the first thing I want to say is when I used the Striker back at the reveal event uh, for Destiny 2, the initial boost you got when jumping was nothing like what it felt like in Destiny 1. The burst felt sloppy on the Titan that I used in Destiny 2. It made it so basically being able to travel across maps quicker really difficult. It didn't seem like you'd be able to do it. You wouldn't be able to Titan run. That's basically what I got from playing the game. I thought Bungie are going to cut that out. But seeing this Titan jump within this subclass tells me a different story. The boost he seems to be getting looks impressive. It really does. A lot more of a boost than what I was getting when I used the Titan subclass. Which was Striker by the way. Not Sentinel. We also see the Sentinel Super in action. And man oh man it looks fun. Not only can you charge towards enemies at great speed and smack them to their death, you can also throw and ricochet the shield. I cannot imagine some of the super clips we are going to see, cannot wait. The grenade I believe he throws was a suppressor grenade but to tell for sure is really hard. Now to end the video before I study the videos we have seen even more. In a video where IGN showcased a tour of the new Crucible map Endless Veil, vale, we saw this Guardian shoot at a sidearm. What scared me about this clip people is the fact it sounded like Luck in the chain propped when he shot this sidearm. It's gonna be, so you're gonna see a lot of people, um, you know, vying for map. Think about that for a second. Luck in the chamber on sidearms. Damn! Now the sound we heard, which we do hear when Luck in the Chamber kicks in in Destiny 1, in Destiny 2 could be the sound of something else kicking in. It could be the sound of, um, to be honest people I'm trying here to make it seem like Luck in the Chamber is not on sidearms and I'm failing really bad. Bungie, what are you thinking? Luck in the Chamber on sidearms. Damn, oh damn, please tell me this is not true. And on that note guys, let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stay.